The process of deriving the proposed unifying equation for the wave function in a fractal energy field involves several steps and a series of equations that would make Einstein's brain hurt. Our approach is as follows. Start with the wave function of a subatomic particle as described by quantum field theory, denoted as PESQFT of X and T. This wave function describes the probability distribution of the particle's position and momentum in space and time, like trying to predict where a cat will land after being thrown off a couch. Introduce a new term in the wave function that accounts for the fractal deformation of the energy field, denoted as PES fractal of X and T. This term would be dependent on the fractal dimension of the energy field, D, and the properties of the subatomic particles, such as mass, charge, and spin, like trying to predict the chances of a cat landing on its feet after being thrown off a couch. Develop an equation that describes the relationship between the fractal dimension of the energy field and the properties of the subatomic particles. The McGinty equation takes the form of Pus fractal of X and T equals F of D, M, Q, and S. Where f is a function that describes the relationship between the fractal dimension of the energy field and the properties of the subatomic particles, like trying to predict the chances of a cat landing on its feet after being thrown off a couch with a spin. Combine the wave function, as described by quantum field theory, with the fractal deformation of the energy field to get the unifying equation, psi of x and t equals psi of quantum field theory of x and t plus psi of fractal of x and t, which equals psi of quantum field theory of x and t plus f of d m q s. This unifying equation incorporates elements of both quantum field theory and fractal theory and describes the wave function of subatomic particles in a fractal energy field, like trying to predict the chances of a cat landing on its feet after being thrown off a couch with a spin in a tornado. A similar process is applied to derive the equation for the energy levels and decay rates of subatomic particles in a fractal energy field. One approach could be Start with the energy levels and decay rates of subatomic particles as described by quantum field theory, denoted as E of quantum field theory and gamma of quantum field theory respectively, like trying to predict the chances of a cat landing on its feet after being thrown off a couch with a spin in a tornado with a laser pointer. Introduce new terms in the equations that account for the fractal deformation of the energy field, denoted as E-fractal and Gamma-fractal, respectively. These terms would be dependent on the fractal dimension of the energy field, D, and the properties of the subatomic particles, such as mass, charge, and spin. It's like trying to predict the chances of a cat landing on its feet after being thrown off a couch with a spin in a tornado with a laser pointer while being chased by a dog. Develop equations that describe the relationship between the fractal dimension of the energy field and the properties of the subatomic particles for the energy levels and decay rates. Combine the energy levels and decay rates as described by the equation E equals EQFT plus E fractal with the fractal deformation of the energy field as described by the fractal dimension D. Develop new equations that describe the interaction between the fractal deformation of the energy field and the subatomic particles, taking into account the properties of the particles such as mass, charge and spin. It's like trying to predict the chances of a cat landing on its feet after being thrown off a couch with a spin in a tornado with a laser pointer while being chased by a dog and wearing a tutu. Use these equations to analyze numerical simulations of the behavior of subatomic particles in a fractal energy field in order to validate the theoretical framework and gain insight into the dynamics of the energy field, like trying to predict the chances of a cat landing on its feet after being thrown off a couch with a spin in a tornado with a laser pointer while being chased by a dog and wearing a tutu and then simulating it on a computer.
Apply mathematical techniques from fractal theory, such as the Hausdorff dimension and the box counting dimension, to calculate the fractal dimension of the energy field and its relationship to the properties of these subatomic particles, like trying to predict the chances of a cat landing on its feet after being thrown off a couch with a spin in a tornado, with a laser pointer while being chased by a dog, and wearing a tutu, simulating it on a computer, and then applying geometry. Build on this foundation of mathematical concepts and numerical simulations to derive a unifying equation that incorporates elements of both quantum field theory and fractal theory. The final McGinty equation takes the form of Pesos xt equals pc sqft at t plus pus fractal xt dm qqs, where psqft xt represents the wave function of the subatomic particle as described by quantum field theory, piece fractal xt dm qqs represents the additional term in the wave function that accounts for the fractal deformation of the energy field, d represents the fractal dimension of the energy field, m represents the mass of the subatomic particle, q represents the charge of the subatomic particle, and s represents the spin of the subatomic particle. It's kind of like trying to predict the chances of a cat landing on its feet after being thrown off a couch with a spin in a tornado with a laser pointer while being chased by a dog wearing a tutu, simulating it on a computer, applying geometry and then wrapping it all up in an elegant equation. Finally, the unifying equation for the wave function in a fractal energy field can be applied to study a wide range of phenomena, from the behavior of subatomic particles in high-energy physics experiments to the dynamics of complex systems in the natural world. The ability to accurately describe the behavior of particles in a fractal energy field has far-reaching implications for our understanding of the universe and the laws that govern it. An example of the potential applications of this equation could be in the field of quantum computing, where the ability to control the fractal dimension of the energy field enables the creation of new types of quantum algorithms and computational models. Another example is in the field of cosmology, where the unifying equation is being used to study the properties of dark matter and dark energy and shed light on the fundamental nature of the universe and its origins. This is just a glimpse of the potential of this unifying equation and the possibilities it could open up in the field of physics and beyond. With a combination of humour and science, we can make the complex simple and fun to understand.